Hello everybody, welcome back to Just Shy. I am shy, the person, not the adjective. And today is reorganization day. Hooray! Because this is gonna like take a lot of just kind of like forethought, I am gonna break this up. So this is the first part and of course we have to reorganize the behemoth that is 80s so if you saw my incredibly long just like insanely long <laughs> 80s storing video that looks like this then you know by the end of it i honestly could not close my binder all the pages were shifting they they could not even stand up right so i literally just had to like flip my binder to the middle that way both sides would be even and i just left it open it's been weeks <laughs> So I was like, okay, we have to do something. We have to, like, it's not an option to keep it as it is. So um, I did take a look at you guys' suggestions and a lot of you were like, shy, just have a binder for album cards and then have a binder for pops. And to that I say, I don't want to, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> it's just the best option. Plus the fillers I made um, to separate the eras are also bulky. So it's just not feasible to have all of that in one binder. Um, I did um, play around with the thought of putting Treasure Era in an A5 binder because there's just not that many cards. Um, but because of the aesthetic backs is why I chose not to do that. Y'all know I just really love my aesthetic backs. And I like it to be all intact, which means it has to be in a nine pocket. So instead, I am just going to store all the album cards together. I don't know how much of the new era or if the new era will even fit in there, but we're we're going we're gonna work on it. So first things first, this is my um binder that used to house treasure era along with Japanese era. I have since taken treasure era out of here. So this is just AT's Japanese stuff, which they have a Japanese comeback happening soon. So I also need to set up for that. But um, first, I am going to be moving Hua in here. So Hua has been in my um, merch binder which what if you don't know was my original 80s binder back when I only had one 80s binder what a world that was <laughs> yeah that long ago um so that's why he was always in the back of that binder so eventually when it became the merch binder it really didn't make sense to have him back there except for tradition so I was like, okay, it's time to move him. So I'm going to move him here um, with the Japanese cards. And this is where he will stay until he eventually outgrows this binder, which hopefully won't be anytime soon. Also, if you saw that video, I just kind of like forgot this card. Sorry, that was like a huge glare. I just kind of like put this card off to the side and like never got back to it. He's in here. I didn't forget about him well I did in the moment but I remembered him later so he's in here he's back he's okay <laughs> he's fine so we have Songho in here and honestly for the Japanese comeback I plan on buying everything at once um the setup is gonna be like uh dreamers where there's an 18 version and then two um standard versions so I'm gonna set it up exactly how I did this well not exactly because this comeback didn't have Mingi but it's going to be set up similar to this, so I'm just going to throw three pages in here and call it a day. So we don't need to do that now. Okay, so let's get the new album card binder. Okay, this is the album card binder. And these <laughs> are all of the album cards. Asterisk. So, um, again, because Treasure Era just really did not have much, I did decide to go ahead and keep the few pobs that there were for Treasure Era in here. Um, so it's just a few sets of MMT cards because they just, I did not know where else to put them, honestly. So these are all the Treasure Era cards. 
these are pages for the new era which i have no card specs for the new era nobody does as of the time of me filming this but i'm just gonna assume i need at least eight nine pockets and then here is all of the fillers that i made um to divide the eras which displays the corresponding uh discs if you saw me make these you're probably like shy these look different than the ones that you had made yes Turns out FedEx printed them the wrong size, so I had to have them reprinted, rip all the discs off the ones that I did, and then re-stick them onto this. Don't want to talk about it, but that's what happened. Okay, we are going to go ahead and insert all these first, and then just put the corresponding eras behind them. This has stuff in it because this was actually my original Fever era binder before it outgrew this and we had the monstrosity that we have now so that's why there's like leftover stuff in here <laughs> this was also an 80s binder at one point okay so first things first is i am going to throw these empty nine pop pocket pages back here for the new era could you could you stack right lord again i do not know what the new era is going to hold for us we could be doing something totally different no idea but yes and i did make this little filler divider for it um because we have no album specs but i didn't really want it to just be blank so after epilogue we'll see this and we'll know back here is stuff for the new era so let's start from the beginning so we are starting off with very first album all to zero so we just have one page this is all we had well technically we did have these I do have one of these, by the way. I don't ever store it in my binder. It just stays in this top loader. Um, but there's two. There's this one, and then there's another one where they're all sitting at the table. And they are the original K-Town pre-order cards. They were just like holographic group cards. But I don't have the other one. And even if I did, I, I wouldn't put it in here anyway. So that is all for EP1. EP2. We again just had one set of cards what a time that was y'all remember that we just had the one and then here we go ep3 when they were like let's have two versions and we were like cool we could do that yeah <laughs> so we have the wave set And then here are the Wave Pobs. These are Pabs. These are the MMT cards. Back when we only had MMT. Remember that? Baby Teeny do not remember that. They're like, what? <laughs> what? And then here is Illusion. And here are the Illusion MMT cards. And then we were done with that. And then we had EP Finn. So I do have these stickers that I still want to store in here. So they're still going to go first. And then we had the A version. And then the Z version. And then I only collected my top three for the MMT cards. I recently decided that I wanted to try to collect OT8 for these. I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> but it's a thing that a shy wants. So we're just going to put them back here for now. And that is all for Ethan. And then we had Treasure Epilogue. which we had the A version, 
why they just this is the start of like making the backs unappealing <laughs> here's the z version which are the only holo cards we had for now And again, for this era, I only collected my top three members for the MMT cards. These ones are actually easier to find, so I may collect OTA in the future, but I collect too much as it is. So we, we will see. We honestly do not need to add anything to this binder <laughs> unnecessarily, so you, you know. All right, and then we had the anniversary edition in which we had the adult cards and the baby cards, which I think should go first. Is it adult baby or baby adult? Like chronologically, it should go baby adult, right? Because you're a baby and then you're an adult. Let's do baby adult. <laughs> uh, but I think these, okay, now let's go adult baby because the A version of the, okay <laughs> this is why i hate eight pocket pages like sonny just left he's like i'm not gonna stand for this i go first okay son okay calm yourself whoa there yeah the literally cards just fly out of eight eight pockets which is why i don't necessarily like them but there's eight members of 80s and this makes a pattern so i was trying to make it happen but y'all be warned ATs will fly out of eight pockets. Sorry, there's been like a glare here the whole time. Sorry. Okay. Then we enter Fever Era. So this is Fever One, in which um, I stored them like this because we had such an awkward number of cards. So I put my top three together. Um, for that and then here is the other inception version cards for the first version and the inception version cards for the second so there was two cards per album per member and then here's my top three for the thanks version and then here's everyone else Number one. Although I guess this should be number two because this is at the bottom, but eh, eh. Let's switch it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. We're doing all kinds of remodeling today. Okay. 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 Let me go back. Yeah. These should be switched because I always put the ones where the like album details are at the top first and then the other ones second. So I have no idea why I put them in this order to begin with. I think I just like made sure all the backs matched and then just did it like that. But now that I have a specific order, let's just stick to that. So anything with the album details at the top first, album details at the bottom second. Okay, okay, We're all on the same page. And then last but not least, all of the diary cards which people hated i mean i get that but i i like them they're really cool when you scan them i like them okay then fever two Bull Noria time so this was again something where i stored my top three members because like look how aesthetic that is i will always be here for the aesthetic backs y'all know that <laughs> Oh, and then diary. And Z version. I just love that the three members that I collect make this aesthetic symbol. I love that so much. <laughs> kind of got messed up for um, epilogue era like the logo on the back is is just not it here is everybody else y'all have seen like my binder flip through and stuff at this point so i won't ah Qua, could you not Qua was trying to 
I don't know why my 80s collection is trying to fly away today, but like if they could not, that'd be great. Okay, and then Fever 3. Where again, I stored my top three, but just look at them aesthetic bags. That is so aesthetic. Like, honestly, I loved it. Love this for me until we got to epilogue. Okay, and here we go. The one that messed up everything. Epilogue. So the fronts are nice. They're like all, you know, matching to a degree. But what? <laughs> Sonny, why? <laughs> like, I know the, the logo is like that and it goes like, woo, and then it like tapers off at the end. So I collect literally the end pieces and the middle. But like, Sonny, you you really had to do that, though. Like, if it had been to, to like the same size, it would have been perfectly aesthetic, but no. But no. <sighs> That's the one thing about San. San loves. San loves to straight up fuck up a set. Like, he'll be the only one that's, like, super close to the camera when everybody else is just, like, a moderate amount of distance away. He'll be, like, nostrils to the lens. And you're like, why would you do this? This was a perfectly good OT8 set, and now I gotta look at your brain through your nostril because you wanted to be all up close. Like, why would you do this, son? Why? But that's my son, and I love him, but like, why? Okay, and that is it. This is the divider for the new era, and we got some blank pages back there. Let's see how full she is. I'm hoping we can, we can fit the new era in here. Like, we did fit a, a Fever 3, actually all of Fever. We did fit all of Fever in here, plus Pobs, for a good long while. So I'm hoping that me... Oh, she's just out. No, no. Thank you. Dang, Barbara. Okay. Um, so I'm hoping that means that I'll have space to put the new air... Nope. <laughs> nope. She's full. It's full. It's full already. It's full. She's full. Literally, it just fits this. I could fit the first album of the new era and probably nothing more. And even that first album is is gonna like be like, okay, you really you really had to do that. So I might need to start a new binder um for whatever this next upcoming era is, plus the next one. Maybe I'll do every two eras in a binder. We will see. <laughs> we will see. The album cars are just... Like, if this next era is going to have, like, six parts, that's that's going to be one binder. Like, because that's six albums worth of album cars. Like, for OT8, that, that's going to be one binder. But, okay, we are done with this one. Which means we are done with 80s. So we have rearranged everything so that everything now fits. We do not have space to grow in pretty much any of the binders except for Hong Joon's. So that's a problem for Future Shy. But for now, this is what we're working with. It will fit, it'll fit a little bit of the new era. Not a lot. We've got like that much space. So like not a lot, but... It'll fit, I'm thinking, at least the first album of the new era, which means I can hold off on getting a new binder for it. We will, however, need a new pop binder. She, after I took out all the Fever album cards, she's just now at max capacity. She's like, okay, now you can close me, but don't add nothing else that's not already, like, set up in here. Like, I can't put anything new in there. I can only finish the existing things, if that makes sense. So... We are done rearranging aunties. We now need to make a new binder cover for this. So that'll be a deco with Shy in the future when I think of something. But 
Thank you so much for joining me for this small reorganization. As I said, this is only part one of however many binders I need to re reorganize and set up comebacks for. So until the next time I need to reorganize or set up a binder. Bye.